The Nebraska Department of Health and Human Services has some great employment opportunities for people who like helping others in need. DHHS's mission is to help people live better lives and has openings for eligibility operations workers at various locations across the state. This employee will take calls from people seeking economic assistance for things such as food stamps, heating and cooling expenses, child care, and dependent care. They will also take calls for people seeking Medicaid, which is government medical insurance for the elderly, disabled, families, and children. Yeah, I mean, depending on whether you work for Medicaid or economic assistance, there'll be some differences there. We're all in the same building, but we, um, the positions are set up a little bit differently and supervisors can help answer some of those questions. Um, depending on whether you work in the call center or the local office, that can also be different. Local office works a lot more with walk-in clients. Um, call center is answering phone calls. Local office, you get a lot of FaceTime with clients and a lot of um, repetition in the cases that you're processing. Call center is always something new, a lot of problem solving. You never really know what you're gonna get because clients are initiating all of that communication. DHHS offers a six to eight week paid training program and experienced supervisors and staff will help you along the way. You will work in newly remodeled spacious cubicles in a friendly, welcoming atmosphere. The pay is $17.39 per hour. Requirements for the job include experience and customer service, determining eligibility for public assistance, financial loans, medical or unemployment claims, or 24 college semester hours or a combination of education and experience. One of the reasons I was drawn to this position is because there is um, so much training involved. While that may be intimidating sometimes, <laughs> I appreciated that DHHS wanted to train their workers to do things in their own way. There wasn't a whole lot of expectation for years and years and years of experience prior. Um, so we have a lot of classroom training prior to processing cases. Um, then we have lead workers like myself sit with new workers after they complete that classroom training um, and process live cases together on, in a one-on-one -on -one setting so that there's a lot of step-by-step -step walking through. Um, we also have um, periodic videos that we'll watch from HR or LinkedIn learning courses throughout the year that are made available to us. Sometimes they're required, sometimes they're not, um, but that can be a really great way to grow your customer service and grow your accuracy in understanding different programs. The Nebraska Department of Health and Human Services wants employees to learn and grow in the organization and offers excellent advancement opportunities. One of the reasons I sought out a government job is because I am a person who loves structure. I really love knowing exactly what's expected of me and how I can best succeed. And that's something that um, my supervisors and administrators are very clear about. They lay out, here's what we expect of you, here's the numbers, here's how to make it happen. And every day I come into work I know, here's what I've got to do. There's not a whole lot of ambiguity, ambiguity with that. Um, I also really love having great healthcare benefits. Um, they have great leave policies. There's a lot of opportunity for upward mobility, um, great retirement matching. Um, yeah, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of good benefits that go along with the hourly pay. The state of Nebraska offers stable employment through economic downturns. You are offered 13 paid holidays, generous leave time, a retirement match of 156%, excellent health, dental, and vision insurance, plus tuition reimbursement for both the employee and their children. I have always really enjoyed working with the geriatric demographic. Um, there was a lot of times that I dreamed about working in nursing homes or working as an ombudsman. And as I was learning what is my place in the world, Coming to a position like this where there's so many different um, so many different programs, so many different genres of people that I get to work with, I've really gotten to figure out where my skill set is and um, I've gotten to specialize in programs for the geriatric demographic um, and I've 
I've really grown a lot in that because of my, my position here at DHHS. You can learn more about the Eligibility Operations Worker position by going to our website at dhhs.me.gov. Scroll to the bottom of the page and click on Careers of Caring, then click on the Careers and Interns tile.